Hello, my name is Sam Coley, and I'm going to be talking about the brown tree snake, which is an invasive species on the island of Guam. The brown tree snake is originally native to Australia, Indonesia, and Melanesia. It's a mildly venomous snake, which means that in addition to using venom, it also, it also constricts its prey to subdue them so it can eat them. It was most likely introduced in the 1940s or 50s, probably through some form of cargo. Since then, it has caused the extinction of, or the local extinction, of nine of the 11 native forest bird species on Guam. After getting rid of most of the bird population, it's moved on to other small animals like lizards or bats or rats. Because Guam has no native snake species, there aren't any real predators on the island that would hunt the brown tree snake. So because of a lack of predators and a huge amount of food, the brown tree snake's population is really exploited on Guam. Its bite isn't considered life-threatening since it's only mildly venomous. At least to adults, it's not considered life-threatening. However, for a child, it is dangerous. So if they are bitten, they need to be taken to a hospital. However, most residents don't really get bitten because the snake doesn't really go out into more populated areas. It mostly sticks to forested areas where it's prey is more likely. The only time you would really see it in a more residential area is if there's a large pest infestation. Infestation. However, they can cause power outages by getting up into the power lines. Uh, the government on Guam is trying to control the population. They have a program where they drop poisoned mice into the forest hoping that the snakes would eat the dead mice and hopefully die. Hopefully with that they can help control the population, maybe eventually reduce the population. Also the USGS maintains a uh, strike team on Guam that studies and locates snakes. They go on night hunts for the snakes. Also precautions are being taken on other nearby islands to help make sure that the snake doesn't spread to other islands like it spread to Guam. Uh, the government on Guam helps train other islands in preventative measures. They also have dogs that sniff around um, cargo containers to make sure that snakes aren't hiding on the containers. That's all.